Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share Psalm 109 verses 14 to 20. May the guilt of his fathers be remembered before the Lord and do not let the sin of his mother be wiped out. May they be before the Lord continually so that he may eliminate their memory from the earth because he did not remember to show mercy but persecuted the afflicted and needy persons and the despondent in heart to put them to death. He also loved cursing, so it came to him. And he did not delight in blessing, so it was far from him. But he clothed himself with cursing as with his garment, and it entered his body like water and like oil into his bones. May it be to him as a garment with which he covers himself, and as a belt which he constantly wears around himself. And as a belt, uh, may this be the reward of my accusers from the Lord and those who speak evil against my soul. Psalm 109, 14 to 20. Here's uh, the devotional. Curses to those who curse. According to Enduring.com, in verse 20, David hoped that the sins of his enemies' ancestors would also be held against his enemy and that the remembrance of those sins would be continually before the Lord. In verse 16, David's enemy and his companions despised the goodness David extended to them, which goes back to verse 5. Yet the hateful ways went beyond the wrong done to David. He also persecuted the poor and needy. This merciless cruelty to the broken in heart was completely contrary to the nature of God. Psalm 34, 18 says that the Lord is near to those who have broken heart. And in Psalm 51, 17, it says that God never despises a broken heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come to him. David's prayer was rooted in simple justice. He wanted God to do to his enemy what that guilty man had done to others. David wanted the man to be clothed with curse, curses. According to Spurgeon, retaliation not for private revenge, but as a measure of public justice, is demanded by David and deserved by the crime. Surely the malicious man cannot complain if he is judged by his own rule and has his corn measured with his own bushel. David's heart is full of compassion and mercy to the poor. Reflection. Why is David so adamant as getting justice for, for the injustice done to the poor in spirit? Well, because he knows his God very well. He knows that God gives justice to those who are oppressed. Um, he also wants us to free the oppressed. He wants us to make sure that we fair, uh, fairly treat each other. And so if there is an injustice done, we're supposed to be um, taking care of, uh, of, of bringing fair, uh, fairness to that injustice. So... Because he has God's heart, he does not want to tolerate what is sinful. So when he sees others being sinful to other people who are vulnerable, uh, his heart pines for that and, and because he knows that God doesn't want those things. So I encourage you. Uh, but, but when Christ came, we're not asked to curse those who curse us because... Jesus taught us to love our own enemies and to pray for them. But um, I think in this case, David um, wants to seek justice for those who are um, not able to get justice for themselves or not able to run to God. So he's running to God for them. I encourage you to um, bring everything to God, even those people who hurt you, people who, who bring curses to you, or who make your life miserable, just bring them all to God and He will deal with them. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. God loves you and so do I.